Welcome back. It's Andrew Beach, executive coach. I'm a teacher of self-education. I help professionals like you communicate value to find great opportunities faster, whether you're working or not. That's through a pragmatic process of branding, planning, and effective networking. Knowing that, many of the folks that I coach actually are looking for better ways to take advantage of what's happening in the automated space. So automating parts of your process to find opportunities often leaves you more time to invest in strategic efforts. And so we continue today our demonstration of the tool called Lazy Apply. Now this tool, I must admit, is going to create some controversy in the marketplace. I look at it from this perspective. As a job seeking professional, uh, you have an obligation to yourself and your family to provide. And part of that process is finding ways to be effective in career search or promotion or whatever your professional objective might be. And Lazy Apply is one of the tools that helps you do that. Now, it's not the, the best tool in the world, nor is it even the right tool for every situation, but it is something that can help you expand and uh, reach more people in a very short period of time. And today what we're going to do is actually do a search inside of LinkedIn and apply to a number of jobs. Now know that, that there are some limitations to this process and getting to the right place isn't always easy. And so this requires some trial and error. I've tried this tool and I'll share with you uh, maybe on the next video some of the results of the searches and applications that I've um, undergone using this tool so that we can learn together how effective it is and where we might be able to adjust our approach using the tool and certainly some of the downsides to uh, uh, the tool itself that could be improved. And so I'm at this point not going to do a search on indeed.com because I feel that feature is not ready for prime time. So we're only today going to do a search using LinkedIn because that tool is a little more advanced in terms of uh, interacting with the uh, the LinkedIn API, if whatever you want to call it. Now, let's go ahead and go into the dashboard. I'll go to my dashboard here for Lazy Apply. You should see it on the screen. And we will look at this uh, desktop here. You will notice on the dashboard there are two options here, one for LinkedIn and one for Indeed. You need to be logged into these tools before you execute a search. So just Word to the wise, if you're going to establish a presence here, go watch my prior videos, how you put together your um, resume, how do you put your cover letter on this tool and so forth and establish your pre-formatted sections so that you can have uh, answers to this process. Now, you'll notice when we go into the actual usage of this tool that there will be some what I call knockout questions. It's very common in the industry that companies will ask you a series of questions about your status and whether or not you have certain experiences and that sort of thing. And as you go through, you'll want to jot down those questions that uh, weren't effectively answered when you are filling out the application so that you can come back to Easy Apply and put that information in under skills or experiences. So I've grabbed a pen and a journal here and I will write down these questions as I launch my search. So let's go ahead and do this search now. I'll click start applying here at the bottom of the screen and we'll walk through this together. You'll see here um, a graphic will pop up and you'll have an opportunity to start applying on LinkedIn. The first one is enter skills or tags the second is enter a job location that is optional. However, I'm sure you don't want to find remote work opportunities in India if you're located, say, in Brazil. So use your best judgment there. I'd say at minimum you'd want to put your country because even within most countries, remote work is something that's being honored. So in my case, I will put United States. And I'll enter some skills and tags. For me, that's leadership. Uh, it's development. Uh, actually, I'll take out development because one of the things that I found in this search is that when I put in the word development, a lot of the titles that come up in the next phase here, the titles that are shown are actually titles for software development. I don't want that. So I will put in leadership. Uh, I will put in learning. And I will put in organizational because those are the areas that I'm looking for um, opportunity. Now, I'm only going to put in the number 25 here. You could put up as many as 50 or 100 or 150. Uh, I just, for the, the purpose of this particular session, uh, we'll probably roll through and advance these faster than normal. 
uh, so that you can see how this works. I will click to fetch filters first and that will give me the opportunity to make some additional selections and you'll see some of those here on the screen. Now you can see here that there are, are a number of additional filters that have appeared and I get to choose from one or more of these filters. Now uh, I'm not going to pick anything other than first job titles. So what you'll find here is a list of job titles related to the type of work I would like to do. And so I will pick here uh, Director of Learning and Development, uh, Head of Learning. These are all areas I may have interest. Uh, you can see here Cloud Engineer is not one I'd be interested in, Head of Human Resources, and School Principal. So I'll just pick those two, Head of Learning and Director of Learning and Development, and I certainly want full-time work. So those are the only two things that I will select here and then we'll go ahead and click start applying here. You can see that at the bottom and that will give us the opportunity now to take a peek at how this tool works. Now pay attention because it will open uh, a session in LinkedIn and the plugin that's here in the Chrome browser will actually start doing all of the applying for me. So I will allow this to run and then when we're done we'll come back and uh, we'll chat.
Okay, as you can see, it completed the application of each of those sessions and depending on how many jobs were in that list, I think there was 40 something, I'd have to go back and look at the, the video. I think there were 44 open opportunities and it applied to seven jobs. Now, that means that there are a number of jobs that didn't get applied to primarily because there were some knockout questions and I think you saw the system stall. I occasionally entered some information, uh, but you can always come back here uh, to apply jobs over on the left hand side and you can see all the jobs that you applied to and so here they are from this one skill searched uh, what I applied for etc now that's done by date so the other dates that I did searches I'd have to go through and find it's it's not easy to find but you can also look at those that you've posted to by links so the links to those positions are kept here there's a total of 88 that I've applied to and we'll go over some of the results here on the next video um, but as you can see as I scroll down to the bottom that's typically where the new ones will show up so if you uh, certainly have any questions about that I'd be happy to answer in the comments down below if you feel that lazy apply is a tool you would like to leverage and get in on the ground floor to help develop and promote this tool as a way to apply to roles uh, pretty universally uh, I would encourage you to check the links down below. This is a deal on AppSumo for a short period of time and it's at a deep discount and you can uh, collaborate here and provide feedback as a early tester of this tool to help these developers actually build something that's going to work. And that's my anticipation here that I will actually be a contributor in some capacity to the benefit uh, of this organization. So uh, stay tuned. We'll come back and share with you some results and some final thoughts on the next video.